Hello, this is Lori. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks today, or tips, or hints, or um, take your pick on what we call them. I'm using a Miss Fish template. This is Simply Stacked 35 that I'll be using. And what I'm going to be showing you, the, the two things, are how to quickly brighten up a dark photo and how to rotate a template. Let's start by lightening up a dark photo. Right here you can see that there's a lot of shadow over this um, octopus, little octopus, <laughs> that I crocheted. The easy is the easiest way that I've found, instead of going to enhance and to move the sliders and try to figure out exactly what you want to do, if it's just a little bit dark, I do a duplicate of the photo. So I'm going to do Control J. You can see I have a layer on top of it now. Then you go to your drop down. I'm using PSE 11. You'll go to your drop down and scroll down or, or move down until you get to screen. So you're applying that screen to this top layer. It will go really light, but what you're going to do next is take your opacity and bring it down. I find a lot of times somewhere in the mid 30s to 40% or so gives me a really nice lighter look. If I um, click that eye off so you don't see that layer, there it is. And here's the difference, just a little bit brighter. When I go to the template, I could pull that photo up into the template and use it just as it is. But if I do that that way, I won't be able to um, as easily change that top screen layer. So I certainly could do it, but I'm not going to do it on this. And since it is a horizontal photo, and I want most of that photo to be able to fill this mask, I'm going to rotate this entire template. When you go to Image, Rotate, you've got some choices above this line and other choices below. For below, it means whatever you have selected, just that or those things will rotate. In this case, I want the entire template to flip over to the, in, in my case, to the right. So that's going to be a 90 degree to the right. And when I click that, the entire thing flips over. At this point, as I was saying, if I just drag my um, octopus photo up, it doesn't have the layer with it anymore. And while it is the lighter version that I was, um, well, that I was working on, it's not um, necessarily as easy for me to change things around. I'm going to just hit my delete key and get rid of that octopus and go back here. And I'm going to take this, um, this one that has the layer above it and delete that layer out. So this is the original photo again. That's a little bit darker. Now I'll go back to my template. I'll drag and drop that photo right on top of that mask. If you see here, I want it right on top of that mask layer. So that's where I dragged and dropped it to. I could resize it some at this point. Um, there are other times I can also resize it. But just for fun, I will hit my Enter key. And now I'm going to do Control-Alt-G on my keyboard. I work on a PC. So that groups it, or clips it, not group, sorry, clips it to the mask. You can see I can move it around all um, where I want to within the mask. And then if I want to lighten this photo up right from here when I'm already on the template, I can do Control J again to duplicate. Remember, I'm going to duplicate this photo. So Control J. It's in the exact same spot at the exact same size. Once again, I'm going to do Control Alt G to clip it. 
Um, there are other ways to do that. One of them is under the right mouse and you can um, click there, but I like using the keyboard shortcuts. Now on that top layer, just like we did before, screen, it gets really light and down into the range where I would like it to be. There, we have seen how to rotate a template, all of it at the same time, and how to bring a photo up into the template, not only into the template, but into a mask and to clip it to the mask, and then to lighten that photo up some without having to go to enhance. Hope that helps. Enjoy!